I'm going to try something with Penn and Teller. Can you guys join me? Penn, I'm going to need your help first. We have two Rubik's Cubes. Okay. You could choose either one to mix up. Your choice. It doesn't matter. I'll take that one. Perfect. I want you to start to mix it up. Say the word stop. When you say stop, we're both going to stop mixing for me. Okay. <laughs> stop. Right there. Yeah. Perfect. I'll take it back. You said stop, and we both stop mixing up the Rubik's Cubes at the same exact time. I'll give you a hint. So that's basically one move away. There's yeah, okay. two, three, four. We're going to mix it up to about 20 moves away, then go back in time. So picture the Rubik's Cube at 20 moves away. Imagine in your mind if the Rubik's Cube is maybe only 10 moves away from being mixed up. Picture at seven what you're going to see with the cube. Imagine if the Rubik's Cube is only one move away, then finally in your mind when it's completely solved. Let me know when you see it. It's completely solved. Just like that. <laughs> I want you to watch all the different sides of the cube. You can see there's no patterns or big blocks on the cube, so no, you know it's thoroughly aren't. mixed up. I want you to watch. We're going to place it in the bag. This is the coolest part of the show. Is it still mixed up in there? Oh, uh, yes, it is. Still mixed up, still mixed up. Watch. It's now solved. Well, that's great. I don't believe it. You don't, okay? Now I'll prove it. Hands empty. I want you to watch as slowly as possible. That is one solved Rubik's Cube, one empty bag. Uh, is that still mixed up on all those sides? Perfect. Now, if I turn it one time, it's still going to be mixed up. The cheating move happens the moment you toss it in the air like that. Completely solid. Thank you. Now, I got so good at cheating. I'm actually going to do that same move, but twice as hard. I'm going to do it one-handed. I'm going to toss it behind my back. When I catch it, you're going to see every single color on its original side. Watch close. One-handed. Behind the back, completely solved. So I'm going to show you the millisecond version. I want you to watch all those sides. If you actually blink, you're going to miss it. That. I said I was going to do it in Teller's hand, and I am. Hold it in your hands for me, please. Cover it up right there. Watch. We'll try to get it to work. Like that, it should be solved. <laughs> See, I didn't say what the solution was this time. See, the solution was to get these two Rubik's Cubes to match completely, perfectly. Better than one side would be side number two, side number three, side number four, five, and all six sides. A completely perfect match. Thank you, my friend. Doesn't take long to say you fooled us, does it? Wow, that's it, as simple as that. Oh, Shannon, would you like to do the honors? Stephen Brundage, ladies and gentlemen, he fooled them. Did an awesome job.